February 25th, the Coors Light NHL Stadium Series is on NBC. A rivalry 50 years in the making takes things outside the Heinz Field of Pittsburgh. It's the battle for Pennsylvania, the Flyers and the Penguins in the Coors Light NHL Stadium Series February 25th on NBC. Find out to take you on Ice Live in Columbus, presented by Chrysler. Yeah, this is Kevin Hayes, the New York Rangers third-line centerman. Not a bad third-line centerman when you talk about his numbers, 14 goals. 40 points. This guy's a big, strong guy that gets in that really well. Good playmaker. Uh, look for him to really be mixing it up in front of Obrowski. But a really good year right now for, for, for Hayes. And then you can see Rick Nash. Uh, one time Columbus Blue Jackets still holds a record for games played, goals, so on and so forth. He's had shown some flashes of his offensive brilliance this year. But again, a little bit too spotty in terms of his day-to-day -day play. But when he gets going, Jonesy, he is tough to stop. Yeah, and they'll be booing him in Columbus. You can bet on that. Kabinski, one of the players that came over from the New York Rangers in that trade, a very good leader on this team, a guy that's a real pain to play against. He'll be in the thick of everything for the Columbus Blue Jackets, picking up some points recently as well. Uh, so is this guy all season long. Zach Borinsky has been outstanding from the back end. Blue Jackets looking for some guys that can really step up and play it at both ends of the ice. And Morensky, one of those standout young stars, still just 19 years of age and a player to watch in the game here tonight. And the Columbus Blue Jackets, they're hoping to be in a playoff spot come early April. They have only made the playoffs twice in franchise history, but it's all Washington Capitals once again in control on pace for a second straight President's Trophy as we take a look at the NHL East side, focusing on the Caps. The second team in NHL history to score five or more goals in 11 straight home games. They haven't lost the game at home since 2016. Big time numbers for a team that is actually on their bye week this week. And Jonesy, they could probably use a lot of that rest going in the final stretch of the regular season. What would you say makes the Washington Capitals so dangerous? How easily they score goals and how many different players have made it look easy this year for the Washington Capitals. I mean, this, the uh, depth up front has just been so recognizable this year for the Capitals and almost defense, un indefensible. Uh, you can see the guys on our scoring. Brett Conley's had an outstanding bounce back year after coming over from the Boston Bruins. Plays with Lars Eller. Eller started slowly. He's been on fire recently. You can see how confident he is with that shot. And then the, when Burakoski goes down to injury, Zach Sanford comes in, scores his first National Hockey League there, goal there. Conley playing on a line with him, grabs him the puck. There was a game-winning goal against the Anaheim Ducks. They head on the break with every player in that lineup feeling good about the way they're playing. Well, not only offensively, but defensively. Their defense is really strong. The forwards come back and play defense. But when there's a breakdown, you need your goaltender in there. And there has arguably haven't been a better goaltender in the National Hockey League over the last couple of seasons than Braden Holpe. And again, having a phenomenal year. This guy hasn't lost a game in 2017. And obviously, if you play in front of the Washington Capitals offense, you got to love going out and knowing that Hey, if you give up four goals, you're probably still going to win the hockey game. You saw those stats of Washington Capitals putting up five goals again. But uh, Hopi, is, is, he's, he's in that, that groove again. He's playing just a little bit less than he played last year. Getting a little bit of rest is obviously going to help him. Brew Bowers come in and been a really solid backup for him. And Barry Trotz has been really, really good about making sure that he's, he's letting Hopi be Hopi, and that's when he's at his best. The Metropolitan Division goaltenders are outstanding. You can see Bobrovsky tonight. You're not going to see Lundqvist. We'll see Ranta, but you got Lundqvist there in New York. You've got Matt Murray in Pittsburgh. Holtby there. I mean, the team that gets out of this division is going to need great goaltending, but it's going to be fun to watch because there's no holes in the net on any of the top four teams in the Metropolitan Division. Speaking of, let's take a look at those Metropolitan Division standings, and you mentioned it, Jonesy, those top four teams, Washington, Columbus, Pittsburgh, the Rangers right in the think of it they can actually tie Pittsburgh and Columbus with a win tonight and it's going to be interesting to see what happens here because none of these teams are out of it just yet. Well, I, it's true, and I tell you, this watching this whole division has been amazing this year. They've just pretty much blown away the competition uh, with the New York Rangers. We talked about them sitting there in that wild card spot. That might be the best place to be. Who wants to play Washington in the first round? Who wants to play Pittsburgh? You know, Columbus could get heat, heat, heated up. But uh, boy, I'll tell you what, that has been a lot of fun to watch these two, all these teams, all year winning hockey games. Yeah, you gotta be careful what you wish for, though. The savvy right there, wild card, wherever you are, you just play the games. J.T. Miller, born That's and true. raised in East Palestine, Ohio getting ready for some game in Columbus. He leads the Rangers with 45 points this season, already a career high. We'll hear from him next.